Hello, this is Lex from North Phoenix. So welcome to my backyard orchard. I am making a quick video on the microclimate in my yard, uh, where some of the sensitive fruit trees are really protected uh, by the tire one sort of trees, which can take the heat and cold. So before showing you guys a few fruit trees that are in the shades of those bigger trees, I want to tell you, except the Imam Pasant and Loquat, none of the trees have been protected by the shade cloth in my yard. You would see that no shade cloth in the entire yard, except this part. So let me show you guys quickly. You would see the carry mango enjoying in the shade of my huge Shangri-La mulberry. No shade cloth. Good dirt sun. I do have some mangoes. You will also see my banana plants here, uh, which are enjoying in the shade of the oleander and moringa. You do see here a tropical white gova, which can take the heat, but still uh, the shade after 2 p.m is really helping this tree to thrive well. And you will also see my loquat here, enjoying in the shade of the oleander. And my mulberry, this is uh, the bigger one, which is Pakistan mulberry. And my sugarcane, then my moringa, gives a nice protection for those plants on the east side. That includes uh, star fruit, then chocolate pudding, fruit trees, and all the stuff. When I go towards the west side, it's going to be even more fun here. This is my huge, still thriving well. This is my huge Indian fig variety, which completely shares my Sita fall or sugar apple whatever you call it as. Guys, it took two years for me to have some tree just in front of the sugar apple. I had a huge plant, castor plant here, but when two years ago, when there was 30 plus mile speed wind storm, it fell. After that, I have to literally think about what are the best plants I can bring in. And then I decided, okay, let me bring some unique plant rather going for Moringa and other fruit trees. So I chose to go for uh, the Indian variety fig. I do have the Barbados cherry, which is now two and a half years old. The whole idea is how to cover my uh, Imam Basant tree behind from the west sun hitting it directly. You will also see here few other fruit trees I can give some names this is uh, white sapote um, then I have uh, the traditional sapote which is basically ox sapodilla then I have a mango tree here I have another mango tree there if you look at this place is totally shaded and 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 you will see we are almost like three o'clock here okay 3 p.m. you have the shade for these plants. And look at this, another beauty here. I have uh, Florida Mame Sapote enjoying uh, in the shade. And these, you will see a couple of others here. One is Aprium, then another Gova enjoying in the shade. Not just that, I didn't even cover my another mango tree, which is dark variety. Um, this one is completely shaded by another mulberry that I'm growing in the west side, plus the oleander. You guys will see here again, I didn't protect this at all. I have the shade structure, but this year I don't want to protect. My Goa and Pim Seng Mem, whatever you call the PSM mango variety is also shaded. But still, you will, find, you will see the filtered sun on it but I need to really monitor this for the next couple of months 
So we are in the month of June and I'm going to certainly monitor this for the next couple of months. So that's it for now. I have a few other plants, but I just want to show you guys how does really the microclimate help. And we are on the west side. I have my Moringa. I have my fig. I have another Moringa. So I have three Moringa varieties in my yard, which is really helping us on the shed. I just spoke about uh, the Sapodilla and mango. You will see another mango variety here. Look at my curry leaves. That's really thriving well. All right. Thank you for watching. It's an effort. Okay. It takes time to build this microclimate. Again, every year it may vary. Next year, if you see if I'm going to prune some of the trees, uh, there will be some difference in the microclimate. But bottom line, we got to understand where we plant the trees. And even if we do the mistake, we have to realize and correct it sooner. But after three years or even four years, they should learn to thrive, sustain in this weather. Okay, for the cold this year, 2019 and 2020 early, the cold season, the winter season, I did not protect any plants. Everything looks safe for me. I didn't lose even um, any tree. And for the summer, for the foster time, in, in the, after the four and a half years of journey, I decided not to protect anything, but I don't want to take chance for my loquat. Loquat is really big, bigger one. So they're really growing well, and I don't want to take a chance. So, except these two plants, I have to position the tire one trees and uh, some of the shrubs to ensure that uh, the sensitive tropical fruit trees are getting enough protection from the scorching sun. Thank you. Have a nice day.